my name is Emily Gravett and I am here today to read you one of my books and it's this one and it's called Tidy. It's called Tidy Dill. This is my dog Dillis. <coughs> Would you say hello? Good girl. And she is here to help me read. No, she's not very helpful to be honest. Come treat Dill. Good girl. There we go. Okay, so it is a book all about a badger who lives in a forest. It's a beautiful forest. Look at all those amazing trees. Go deeper into the forest. All the way through to see the badger. What are you doing, Dill? Oh. You want to look in the trees too? Oh! Dill's really not being very helpful, is she? What do you think, Dill? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Good girl. Okay, let's read it then, Dill. Deep in the forest lived the badger <coughs> called Pete. <coughs> he did. He lived in the forest. He tidied and cleaned and kept everything neat. He tidied the flowers by checking each patch and snipping off any that didn't quite match. Not the right colour. He tidied the fox by grooming his fur. He untangled each knot and each twig and each fur. And I think he's got a very interesting looking brush there. Let me see. He tidied the birds from the big to the small by brushing their beaks and then bathing them all. He picked up stray sticks, he swept and he rubbed, he polished the rocks and he scoured and he scrubbed. So when a leaf fell, well, was it one leaf? Uh oh, lots of leaves. When a leaf fell, well, Pete tidied up. Look at all those bin bags. But still, he wasn't happy. Now the trees looked bare and scrappy, and so, to make it all look neat, Pete undertook a mighty feat. He dug up every single tree. But then it rained. There was a flood. And afterwards, a lot of mud. Pete called in the diggers. He called in the mixers. He called in the concrete, the rakers, the fixers. happened. Oh look at that. No mud, no leaves, no mess, no trees. Perfectly tidy and perfectly neat. This forest is practically perfect, said Pete. he thought. I deserve a treat. So he hunted around for something to eat but the beetles and worms that he usually found were under the concrete, deep in the ground. And so Pete decided to go home instead. If he couldn't have dinner he'd go straight to bed. But when he arrived and he took out his key, 
there wasn't a door where his door used to be. Later that night, Pete tossed and he turned. His belly was empty, it rumbled and churned. As he lay in his mixer, wide, wide awake, he started to think, I have made a mistake. And so, the very next morning, when it got light, he set about trying to put everything right. Then the animals came from the strong to the weak and they lent him a paw or a claw or a beak. Look at them all helping out. They put everything back as it always had been, but maybe less ordered and not quite as clean. And Pete, well, he promised to tidy up less, but if he succeeded, it's anyone's guess. And that's the end. Thank you very much. So for my next video, I am going to teach you how to draw Pete the Badger. So make sure you come back for my next video and watch it and we'll learn how to do it. Shall we say goodbye, Dilly? Are you ready? Oh, Dilly's saying goodbye as well. Bye. Wave your hand. Bye.